Forget about the gang that took Lee and Scott. Hello everyone, welcome to part 7 of Spider-Man 2. Today we are going to search for Kraven. That man's reign of terror on the city is about to end. In 20 or so parts. <laughs> Kraven takes up a majority of the game. But to say that Kraven is the main villain of this whole story is... Halfway true. I can work with this. Chief Clark, everything okay? We're about to demolish a hospital that was damaged during Sandman's attack, but there's a lot of debris slowing down the technicians. If you're free, they could really use your webs to help keep the building stable while they work. Absolutely. Thanks. We'll keep working until you get here. Here's the flame side activity, or side missions, and I'll, I will start those in part 13. But those missions are pretty interesting, I will say. It's certainly a different take on a couple of characters from the Spider-Man lore. Don't mind if I do. I'm not sure how many treasure chests are scattered throughout the city, but there sure seems to be a lot of them. And you can even get a perk that shows the treasure chest on the bottom right of the screen on the radar. That does help towards 100% completion, <laughs> that's for sure. Not that I have time to actually do that. I mean, to be fair, 100%ing this game is not as dreadfully long as, say, Assassin's Creed or God of War or any Final Fantasy game after one, but it's still an endeavor. Like, if you're no lifing this game, playing it nonstop, you'll probably need a weekend. Don't see any bad guys. Maybe Miles and Genki had it wrong. Hey, I'm at the bridge. But there's no sign of our mysterious safari pirates. Ah, oh, man. We were sure it was there. Sorry about the wild goose chase. Don't sweat it. We'll find him. Littering? Come on, man. Yeah, they don't explain how this camouflage even works. <laughs> it's gotta be Klingon technology or something. We have more hunters to deal with, and they actually have snipers that shoot explosive bolts towards Spider-Man. The bolts do have a timer before they blow up, so you have just enough opportunity to dodge out of the way. Seriously though, where'd your boss take Lee and Gargan? You criminals? Not far. They're enjoying their freedom. That's not ominous at all. The shield guys, you have to strike them from behind in order to do damage. Or just take the shield from them. That works too. <laughs> Should take a look around. What do we have here? Maybe it'll lead me to some answers. Okay, birdie. Oh, Jesus, we're chasing birds again! Except this time it's a mechanical bird. I'm gonna miss these chasers when I'm in Emily May. The adrenaline, going through the city like it's an obstacle course, never gets old. Getting to do real science, though, for actual money. Oh my god, I finally did it! I have a stable career! Okay, cool it, Parker. Daydream about those fat science stacks later. Time to chase. The Vulture is going to attempt to shoot at Spider-Man, but you can dodge. That's right, the good old barrel roll, the meme from Star Fox 64. Good old times. <laughs> now, seeing as this is a Sony property, I wonder if Star Fox 64 actually exists in this universe. It has to, it has to. No, 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 no! 
Nice cloaking tech. Mind if I take a look under the hood? <laughs> I'll take that as a no. That's two cloaks now. I wonder if I can get my suit to identify their visual frequencies. I don't see your boss around. Where's he hiding? I want to talk to him about his lifestyle choices. You are not worthy of his attention. You do not stand a chance against 8-armed Spider-Man. I mean, look, I just cleared the room in 10 seconds. Oh, no, wait, there's another person. Now I've cleared the room in 10 seconds. Now, where's your boss? Another robot. Maybe I can test something out. Okay, let's see. Sorry, Birdie. This is just as awkward for me as it is for you. There should be a... Yep. Oh, is that your home? Come on, Birdie! Let go! Come on! Stop buy a ticket for this ride! I'm sure that shrapnel is going to hit somebody in the face or destroy a car or something, damage a building. Oh, Peter! Gonna send this location to MJ. Maybe she can take up some building records. Where are we going now? Hey, MJ. Did you get that location data I sent you? Yeah, it's an old food market. Owner died last year. Building sold a few weeks ago. Wait. This buyer. There's some shell company that's been acquiring property all over the city. Like, whole city blocks. I tried to do a story on them last month, but the trail dried up. Every person I was talking to just... vanished. Go make yourselves useful. Our departure is imminent. Who are these people? I'm gonna find out. Good luck. Need to take these two out nice and quiet. And the rest of the hunters? Their blinds are all set up and communications have been linked. We're ready. What a city to hunt in. Find some other city to hunt in. You bastards. Anyway, here's more tutorial on the stealth. I'm not gonna say the stealth in this game is good or bad, it's just... That's a thing. Kind of mediocre. It's really not like Arkham stealth at all, where you could just pretty much do anything you want. That was fast. You find something? Two things. This armed group calls themselves hunters. And they've got a lot of accents. Hmm. International mercenaries? Connection That's what I'm thinking. Generators are Could be front page material for your article. I'm writing it up now. Thanks. Oh, and speaking of work, I accepted Harry's offer. That's fantastic! <laughs> We should celebrate later, after you're done with your current work. Totally. Talk soon. Does anybody hear whispering? <laughs> I'm surprised their conversations don't get picked up for how loud they are. Mary Jane? Who is this Mary Jane person? Now, Craven, he's been in a couple of Spider-Man games before. I think he was in the 2000 game, but I'm not sure. He was definitely in Spider-Man 3. That much I remembered. He was probably in Friend or Foe, but I don't know. <laughs> Most of the Spider-Man games, that's not the Atari game from 1983 or something. I have played. All with the exception of Edge of Time. I don't think I've played Edge of Time. Nor do I want to. That game looks kind of shit. The Sega Genesis games, Maximum Carnage on Super Nintendo, I have played that. Spider-Man and X-Men, I have played that, and that was pretty cool. Or maybe it was Mutant Apocalypse. I think that was the cool one. I think Spider-Man and X-Men was kind of shit, actually. <laughs> and now that I think about it, most of the Spider-Man games from back then that were not beat-em-ups or after 2000 were kind of questionable in quality. And even the beat-em-ups were kind of strange, too. Separation Anxiety on the Sega Genesis one of the hardest video games I've ever played in my life. 
You thought Final Fight in the arcade was hard. No, separation anxiety on the Sega Genesis would like a word with you. Surveillance video from the blind I was just at. Looks like they've got others all around the city. I'll send this to Genki, but he could help pinpoint these. What's Craven hunting? And why? You hungry too? Relax. Aw, for me? You shouldn't have. Oh, oh sturdy and flexible. Hmm. I wonder. Time to take my shiny new toy for a test drive. So Spider-Man just pulled a new gadget out of his ass. That is the web line. You make a web that connects from one wall to another, and that will give you a walkway. This further trivializes stealth sections, but hey, it's actually fun to use in the overworld. This Craven guy must be rich. Here's another stealth section, and you could actually forego stealth and go guns blazing if you truly want to. But here I'm trying to be at least somewhat careful, because the hunters are somewhat vicious, and I am playing as Peter, who is, at the moment, the weaker of the two Spider-Men, so I have to watch out. That's a good thing these two particular goons weren't being talked to. Now you do have indicators saying safe and danger whenever somebody's in the line of sight of somebody else, but I find that kind of distracting. Well, not really distracting, but misleading. Like what does safe actually mean? Am I safe to take the dude out? Or is he safe because he's in the line of sight of somebody else? Same goes with danger. Wonder if you could turn those off in the option, I'm curious. But not that that matters, I got spotted. Oh, that was the that was the last person. <laughs> whoop de doo I suck. And apparently so do these guys. A research lab? Aunt May was so proud of her work at Feast. Lee broke bad in a big way. I just hope that doesn't mean everything he ever touched was corrupted. Even studying Lee's blood. Maybe he's trying to figure out where his powers came from. Or how to get them for himself. An inner demon mask. Lee's old superpower gang. Craven better not be trying for the same with his hunters. Hallucinogens. Probably the worst part of Scorpion's poison. If Craven's adding this to his arsenal, uh, that's the Tiara Apitahi. One of the rarest flowers in the world. Its extract has some pretty powerful medicinal properties. I tried to get some years ago to counteract Scorpion's poison, but couldn't afford the flights to Riotea? Guess Craven could. Dr. Farley Stillwell? His genetic experiments gave Scorpion his abilities. Craven sure does his research. Were they testing their weapons on that armor? Whoa. And not a single scratch? Almost 
almost an exact replica. Must have been probing it for weaknesses. Can never be too careful with Scorpion. Wait a sec. Some kind of hunt. Craven the Hunter. What's he hunting? Whatever it is, it definitely involves Scorpion and Lee. Mind looking into this Craven guy in the meantime and letting Miles know what's up? Already on it. Stay safe. How many more oh man, Craven's got Scorpion's ass. He's got Scorpion's ass dead to rights. And now they've added the artificial vultures, of course. Still doesn't make the stealth section any harder, though, because I could just do that. <laughs> Alright, what do I do next? Where do I go? Safe? Okay, apparently he was safe to take down. That's what safe means, and danger is me probably gonna get spotted if I touch him. Yeah, I wish those notifications were worded differently or just turned off. I've noticed that if you pull scaffolding over or just make some sort of extreme noise, the enemies do in fact look up, which is pretty cool. If anything, the AI is at least somewhat intelligent, but they're not, they're still not that great. <laughs> if we're looking for smart enemies in stealth sections, that would probably be The Last of Us Part 2. Like a bloodhound, he uses it to find killers who stink of death, just as much as the man eater. A true hunter. No, I'm a true hunter. <laughs> People tend to forget that spiders are indeed predators. In which case, these guys are nothing but flies. Honestly, I don't even know where I was going with that analogy, but I'll stick with it, damn it. Oh, jeez. There are so many enemies here. I'm not even sure stealthing it will be quick, so let's just go in loud, shall we? I've already thinned the herd, so what's the harm in dealing with a couple of knuckleheads? This room, however, is rigged with a couple of mines, though they aren't the explosive mines that will just damage you outright. These are more like gas mines. If you stand in certain spots, then green gas will fill the area, or at least that tiny portion of the area, and it will constantly drain at Spider-Man's health. Which, depending on the difficulty level you've picked, might be super quick or super slow. You also have the archers slash snipers with the Wookiee bowcasters. <laughs> no, they're just crossbows, but... It might as well be Wookiee Bowcasters with how explosive they are, and they can actually perch up to walls. Which makes the snipers one of the more annoying regular enemies to deal with because they're constantly on the wall, they're still shooting at you, you're dealing with other bad guys most likely, and you're trying to aim at the snipers, but all the while the other bad guys are getting in the way, which is a pain in the ass in its own right. But at least Spider-Man's proficient in aerial combat, like a G, like a G, so you should be able to make it out just fine. Now, Peter doesn't have stealth, or he doesn't have camouflage much like Miles does, so he can't go back into stealth just as easily as Miles can. I could really use some answers instead of questions right now. That looks promising. All right, Craven. What are you looking for? Wait. I get bringing Scorpion and Lee on a hunt, but Black Cat's a thief. I don't. <laughs> Never gonna win best in show with that attitude! <laughs> uh. 
Nice doggy, kitty, robot. Those teeth are no joke. And here are the robot panthers. These guys are freaking annoying. They can negate your gadgets, which is pretty bad, especially if you're using gadgets a lot like I am. And they can also counterattack. Sometimes not at all, other times all of the goddamn time like this panther. Each panther has a different behavior. My best strategy is to try and web them down, that way they don't move quite as often. Because once the panthers start moving, they're a nuisance at that point. I'm sorry, did you say something about living? Because I think I just broke your face and your neck. Spider-Man's fucking violent. <laughs> and he can't even be bothered to pay for these guys' medical bills. Who's the true villain of this story? That gadget I just used was the web trip mine. Whenever you press R1 and score at the same time, Spider-Man will pull this mine that will pretty much tie up everybody in the room. It will also drag in extra stuff in the environment to deal massive damage. What were you protecting? Scorpion, Martin Lee, Black Cat. This Craven guy's putting together quite the team. Is this the best you can do? They said you were a killer. Imagine my disappointment. For what? En serio. My date's almost here and you're surfing the web? 
My, no one says surfing the web anymore. Can you just please get dressed? Okay, okay. See, you got your good lipstick on. <laughs> you must really like this guy, huh? Miles? I'm sorry. Next time, I promise. I, Miles. I love you. a base belonging to those safari pirates or hunters as they call themselves and learned their boss's name craven and he killed scorpion and he's got a whole hit list of supervillains wait what does this mean lee don't know but this list is extensive these must be the people marco warned us about they were hunting sandman no way Felicia's on their list too black cat your ex exactly she won't listen to me if I say she's in danger. But maybe she'd listen to someone she doesn't know. If MJ reached out to you with some addresses, would you be up for taking point on this? I got you! Thanks, really. I gotta clear my head for a bit, but call me if anything comes up, and... We're going to find the lead I promise. Well, it looks like it's lights out for Scorpion. And Shocker. And Vulture. They were they were killed off screen. I think Rhino got caught too. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. But yeah, just imagine Scorpion stabbing Craven and then he's like, yeah, that's some good shit. Give me more. <laughs> uh. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you in part eight.